Hi, for this question number nine, a biologist is investigating the spread of a weed in a particular region. At time t weeks after the uh, start of the investigation, the area uh, covered by the weed is a meter square. The biologist claims that the rate of increase of a is proportional to the square root of 2a minus 5. First part, write down a differential equation representing the biologist's claim. And for the second part, at the start of the investigation, the area covered by the weed was 7 meters square. And 10 weeks later, the area covered was 27 um, meters square. Assuming that uh, the biologist's claim is correct, find the area covered uh, find the area covered 20 weeks after the start of the investigation okay so for the first part all right question number nine we have um, the biologist the, the rate of the increase of a is proportional to the square root of 2a minus 5 what is the rate of increase of a rate of increase of a. a is the area that is with respect to time therefore we're talking about dA this is directly proportional to the square root of 2 a minus 5 as given in the question therefore if it is directly proportional we have a situation where dA is equal to k times the root of 2a minus 5 where k is a constant and this is the first part that's our differential equation now the second part at the start of the investigation the area covered by the weed was 7 meters square okay so first of all we have this equation what I'm going to do, I'm going to differentiate, I'm going to separate the variables and differentiate them respectively. So we're going to say dA, the differential of k into 2a minus 5. With respect to, in a moment, so dA and a is here, so maybe we can take this on the other side. We're going to have 1 over the square root of 2a minus 5 okay so this is with respect to a integral of this is equal to the integral of um, now if this is with respect to time we have it over dt therefore we're going to get the dt on the other side where it becomes multiplied instead of divide so times dt all right and uh, so what do we have this is um, this can be written as 2a minus 5 to the power of minus half and the integral of that with respect to a with the integral of k dt right so here integrating this you're going to add 1 to the power it becomes power half therefore I have 2a minus 5 to the power of half divided by um, half the new power multiply by if you differentiate the core inside, you're going to get 2. So multiply by 2. And that is going to be equal to k times the different, the integral of dt is going to be t. Alright, so this is basically then 2a minus 5 to the power of half, because the 2 goes out with this. Okay, this is going to become 2 anyway. This is 1. So 1 divided by half is 2. Alright, and... Uh, what do we have? Um, the new power is two. So, sorry, this should mean should have been divided here. So, what we have is two over two. Let's go to k t. Now we have two a minus five to the power of half is equal to k times t. Okay. So, where do we go from here? Now. Maybe we could add a constant. All right, and here's our constant. So we're going to find the constant. And how are we going to do that? We are told in the question that when 
at the time when the investigation starts, so t is equal to 0, and we are told that a is equal to 7. So what can we do? We can take this equation and substitute these values in here. So maybe we can do 2 times a, so 2 times uh, 7, because a is 7, minus 5 to the power of half, power of half is the square root of that, is equal to k multiplied by t, k times 0, plus c. So this is 49, okay, 2 times, no sorry, 2 times 7 is 14, 14 minus 5. So. 14 minus 5, it's going to get 9, isn't it? Okay, so, yeah, I've got 9, the square root of 9 is equal to C, and therefore C is equal to 3. Now, the equation can be written as um, 2A minus 5 to the power of half is equal to um, K T plus 3. Good. And again we are told that 10 weeks later the area covered was 27 meters square. So this time 10 weeks later, so when t is equal to 10, when t is equal to 10, the area covered was 27 meters square. So we could replace the values, all these two values in here, and 2 times a, 2 times 27, minus 5 to the power of half, that means the square root of that is going to be equal to k times t, t is 10, so t, ok, times k plus c, and c is 3. 2 times 27 is 54, 54 minus 5 is 49, so we got the square root of 49 is equal to 10k plus 3. So that is going to be 7, and you send the 3 on this side becomes minus, you send the 10 on this side becomes divide, and you got k is equal to 4 divided by 10, which is 0 0.4. Right, so now we've found the value of k. Sorry, the value of, yeah, the value of k. Therefore, the equation can be now rewritten as 2a minus 5 to the power of half is equal to k times t is 0 0.4 times t plus 3. So, we have to find the area covered 20 weeks after the start of the investigation. So what happens now, 20 weeks later, when t is equal to 20? So just put in 20 here. So we're going to end up with 2a minus 5 to the power of half is equal to 0 0.4 times 20 plus 3. And if you do 0 0.4 times 20 plus 3, okay, so let's do it, 0.4 times uh, 20 plus 3, that's going to give us 11, okay, and therefore we have 11, so 2a minus 5 to the power of half is equal to 11, 2a minus 5 is equal to 11 to the square, and you remove half, sun on this side becomes square, so 2a is equal to, this is uh, 121, send the 5, going to add the 5, therefore a is going to be 126 all divided by 3, and therefore a is equal to 63 meter square. So 20 weeks later, an area of 63 meter square was covered by the growing weed. Alright, so here we are, 10 marks for you. And this question is taken from October 2010, Advanced Level Maths HSC, Paper 3.